Hello, I'm Dwayne Wright, Senior Healthcare Research Analyst at Bloomberg Intelligence. Improving representation in clinical trial research is an urgent priority to ensure that new therapies and technologies can benefit the whole population while understanding variation and the effectiveness of these treatments. Fortunately, there are a number of catalysts to improve how high quality data is collected for research and development, which can improve representation in clinical trials. So where do we stand? The data indicates that participation of Black and Hispanic people in trials supporting new drug entities is low, 8% for Black Americans, 10% for Hispanics, and well below U.S. demographics where Blacks and Hispanics are roughly 14 and 19% of the overall population, respectively. An analysis of diversity in dermatology clinical trials shows non-white participation above 20%, roughly a third of studies that were reviewed. This data suggests that a number of factors might be in place, such as trial awareness, convenience of site location, transportation, lack of diversity in the dermatology workforce, and among clinical trial investigators. So what can be done about this? Regulators and policymakers have recognized the lack of diversity and inclusion in clinical trials and the importance of better diversity. Regulations have been developed requiring inclusivity in government-funded research, to data collection of diversity and inclusion in clinical trials, to proposals that require innovators to have a plan in place to improve enrollment of underrepresented groups in clinical trials. And while these efforts so far provide us with a valuable baseline, it's incumbent upon stakeholders to develop strategies that can generate data in a manner that promotes diversity and inclusion. And we should look at this through the lens of how we collect the data, the tools to collect the data, and how we can draw conclusions from the data. So what are some of the opportunities? The shift to decentralizing clinical trials can generate high quality clinical and real world data outside of the current centralized trial setting. Decentralizing clinical trials can help to mitigate challenges related to underrepresentation in trials by utilizing tools such as telemedicine, mobile and local clinics, home health providers, software or other technology from the home. Collecting data through decentralized trials can broaden the pool of eligible patients and reduce reliance on brick and mortar trial sites, particularly those sites that may not have access to a broad demographic pool. Case in point, there's evidence that participants in decentralized trials are enrolled from an average of 40 US states in comparison to traditional trials who are enrolled from an average of just a single state. As a result of this shift, there's evidence that the use of tech-enabled trials has increased by over 40% uh, compound average growth rate over the last nine years. This growth is, is the result of an increase in the use of wearables, smartphones, and other devices in trials to gather real-world data, reducing reliance on subjective patient reports captured in diaries or in-person clinic visits. Collecting real-world data using wearables and other digital technologies can reduce patient travel burden and increase retention by making participation more attractive. At the same time, these technologies provide continuous monitoring so physicians and trial investigators can keep tabs on trial participants remotely, allowing for objective assessments of how participants function in their daily lives. Greater access to healthcare technology and connected devices will increasingly be a catalyst to collect real-world data on the effectiveness of new therapies. Continued development of digital clinical measures has the opportunity to advance dermatology research into new and effective treatments. We've seen the number of trials collecting digital endpoints grow at a roughly 45% compound annual growth rate since 2013, with indications for diabetes, cardiology, and neurology at the forefront, with room to grow for use of endpoints in the dermatology space, thanks to ongoing stakeholder collaboration. These digital endpoints derived from sensors can measure heart rate, sleep patterns, physical activity, with others currently being evaluated to help provide effectiveness evidence for new therapies. As our country becomes more diverse, there are opportunities to implement effective health research diversity strategies quickly to ensure that the treatments of tomorrow work for as broad a population as possible. Thank you.